Sometimes we may not know how to solve an equation. We could use trial and improvement. However, this can be really slow and tedious. Another option is iteration. Iteration is a method to solve equations by finding an approximate solution. An iterative procedure is one which is repeated many times. Each time it runs, the output becomes the input for the next cycle. And we keep going until the output matches the input. So if we are trying to find the solution for this equation to three decimal places, choose a starting value, so x is 5, and put that into the cycle. We get x is 5.916, etc. This doesn't equal our starting value of 5, so then 5.916 goes back into the cycle. In goes 5.916 and out comes 5.679, which is different. So we put it back into the cycle. And so the cycle keeps on going until eventually we get an approximate answer that is accurate enough. Rounded to two decimal places, 5.73 went in and 5.73 came out. The answer is 5.73. So that's how iteration works. It's a repeated cycle. Although the question was this formula, we used a rearranged version in our flow diagram. This rearranged version is called the iteration formula. You are usually given the iteration formula in the question, but if you aren't, it's quite simple. You simply need to rearrange the equation to make the highest power of x the subject. We then repeatedly use this iteration formula to find the solution. Let's have a look at another example. In part A, we have to derive the iteration formula from the starting equation. This just means that we need to rearrange the first formula to become x equals. Make x square the subject first. We could square root everything, but this isn't what the question wants. So instead, this time, we're going to divide everything by x. And that's the iteration formula. So part b, we use this formula and 3 as the starting value. Because the question says to three significant figures, we need to keep four significant figures each time. So one degree of accuracy more than requested. 3 into our iteration formula gives 2.333. This isn't the same as 3. So now we put 2.333 into the formula and keep going until the input and output are the same to three significant figures. Rounded to three significant figures, 2.41 goes in and 2.41 comes out. This is the final answer. Here's one for you to do. Pause the video, work it out and click play when you're ready. Did you get it right? And that is all there is to it. Iteration is just another way of solving equations using a repeated cycle. You just keep going until your input value matches your output value. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.